Bonjour, comment allez-vous? Hello, how are you? Welcome back to my YouTube channel and friends with the bell. If you have already subscribed to my channel, press the bell icon to get the latest updates. In today's class, we are starting, not starting, we are continuing with uh, lesson 1 that we was on Zami. This is the part 3 video. Uh, part 1 and part 2 you will be getting in the playlist titled on vision class 10. The link to the playlist is given in the description box below. So, we were to resume from page number 8. Okay, from page number 8, question number 2. Rapproche les deux parties de chaque proverbe. So, two columns are given. Uh, our problem is divided into two parts and we need to match them. Okay, so now what I will be doing is, we will be discussing all of it right now, but I will be writing all these proverbs and uh, along with their meaning in the description box as well, so that you can take a look if you don't have the book. So these 10 proverbs will be mentioned in the description as well. So, first, il faut battre la fer. So one, should, uh, one must iron the, uh, one must beat the iron when it's hot. It's a proverb in English as well. Uh, so let's search for when it's hot, it is C. So let's write the answers. Question number two, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay. For number one, it is C. Il faut battre le fer quand il est chaud. Hit the iron when it's hot. Loin des yeux. Answer is E. Loin des yeux. Loin du cœur. Far from the eyes. Far from the heart. Pierre qui rule. For third one, the answer is A. So Pierre qui rule. Rolling stone. Namas pa mousse. So the rolling stone does not gather moss. So third one is A. Number four. Le bon compte. Uh, the answer is four. Le bon ami. So good accounts make good friends so number four is part b okay number five si la jeunesse savait si uh, the answer will be si bs pouvait if the youth have knowledge uh, if the old age could that's the proverb so number five is uh, F. Right. Then sixth one is plus on est de fou. The more one is crazy. Plus on dit. More that person laughs. So number six is number uh, matched to part D of column 2. Number 7. Quand le vin est tiré. So when the wine is opened. Il faut le boire. One must drink it. Okay. Interesting. So if wine is open, then you must drink it. Okay. Drinking is ingenious to health, by the way. Uh... Number eight, avec des C. The answer is G. On mettrait Paris dans une bouteille. So, with all if, we can keep Paris inside the bottle. Okay. Uh, eight is G. In fact, instead of putting the meanings like meanings we are discussing right now, right? I am directly putting the statements of the proverbs in French in the description. That would be better. Uh, tout est bien. Ninth is tout est bien. Then its counterpart will be J. Qui finit bien? 
okay uh all is good then it ends good okay so that's what it is a ninth one is j okay even if i mention the meaning that will also be better fine fine i'm just putting the entire thing it's better to give the entire information in the description so you will be getting all these proverbs in french and in brackets i will be giving their meanings as well les petits ruisseaux the small streams uh the last one left is h for les grandes rivières the small streams uh, make the big rivers Um, uh, uh, then is H five. Let's recall first C, two E three A four B five F six D seven I eight G nine J and ten H. Time to erase this solution. Uh, what do we have in next question? Adjective demonstrative, I suppose. Yeah. Okay. Adjective demonstrative. I have a video based on this, so you can watch it. The link is in the description box below. Adjective demonstrative. Uh, let's write the full thing. Fine. So, what do we have here? Complete avec des adjectives demonstratifs, complete with the demonstrative adjectives. adjectives. So, number one. Voilà une vue du haut de la tour Montparnasse. <coughs> so, view, here is the view from the top of the Montparnasse Tower. Must be the name of a tower. Uh, the Garde dash magazine magazine shops it's a plural uh, word right so the adjective possessive will be say okay say magazine then we have regarde dash mond look at the world to the context it will be look at the crowd and mond is masculine masculine singular so adjective for uh, demonstrative will be so look at this crowd then we have so so de jean qui font du shopping these are the people who are doing shopping regarde dash tour tour is feminine so the adjective demonstrative will be set. Look at this tower. C'est la tour de Fell. It's the Eiffel Tower. Regarde dash grand cathedral. Cathedral feminine. So it is set. Look at this big cathedral. This is the Notre Dame of Paris. A dash immeuble la. And this building there, so immobile, it's singular, but beginning with a vowel, and when the word is beginning with a vowel, we have a special adjective demonstrative, irrespective of masculine or feminine, which is CEP, C'est. So, C'est immobile, la. C'est la magasin, FNAC. FNAC must be a shop. Okay. These are the five ones in first part. Now we are moving to part two. Nous voilà devant la musée. We are here in front of the museum. Entre par dash entre. So enter. Let's enter from by this entry. So entre. Feminine singular. Adjective demonstrative will be set. Then we have. Commençons par dash sal. So begin 
Let's begin with this hull. Sal is masculine, not masculine, sorry, feminine, similar. So, again, set. Observe a uh, dash tableau. Uh, observe these paintings. Plural. So, C S C. Dash portrait. Portrait, masculine singular. Sub portrait. Is Salvi the Colbert? This portrait is the one of Colbert. S uh, dash um. Beginning with a vowel, so we'll be putting C E T. So set om. A été le conseiller de finances de Louis XIV. So he was the financial counselor of the king uh, Louis the Fourteenth. Fine. Question number three is over. Now we are moving to question number four. Let's see what is it all about. Um, it's about definite, indefinite, and the contracted articles. Fine. Uh, definite and indefinite articles and contracted articles. I am putting the link in the description box below. Mail is article, defini, in and defini, contacti. Fine, let's begin. S uh, land, it, un peninsula. So, India is a, as much as I can uh, make out from the spelling, it means peninsula. So, India is a peninsula. Uh, so, O, oh, right. And what is O? Oh? Uh, the article, defini. So, first one will be, for question number four, first will be Yun, Peninsula. Uh, Delhi, a dash capital, the land. Now we are being specific. Delhi is the, is the capital of India. So, the, the is what? Article indefinite. So, that's la, la capital. Oh, then, il y a beaucoup de lieux à visiter. In India, there are a lot of places to visit. Uh, dash, north, north, in the north. So for uh, north, we will use this O. In the north, the contracted article, O north. Il y a de très beaux monuments. There are very beautiful monuments. And in the south, or sud, il y a des temples magnifiques. There are magnificent temples. Land, uh, sorry, land. Land are a grand heritage cultural. So India has a big cultural heritage. Com, dash. Now we are being specific. Like the France. Comme la France. Land est, now we are being general, land est une mosaïque. Land is, India is a mosaic of cultures. Land est une mosaïque de culture. Ah, question number four is done. Question number five. Number one. Mettre les verbes au présent. Ah, more further subdivision. Okay, fine. La matin, the morning. Uh, la vie, dash, MNA, ses enfants à l'école. So, MNA is the verb which we, uh, means to take along. So, in the morning, la vie takes along the children to school. So, it will be MNA. The conjugation, amen. Not MNA, the pronunciation will be MN. Then uh, we have INS, IL. 
the plural, third person plural. Il quitte, the verb is quitte, which means to leave. Leave, so to leave. Il quitte la maison à 7 heures. They leave the house at 7 o'clock. Fine, 7 o'clock in the morning. Um, uh, puis, Ravi dash la bus pour aller à son bureau. Verb is prendre. So then Ravi takes bus to go to his office. So the third person singular, prendre in present tense is prend. Uh, à midi, at noon, il dash au restaurant. So manger is the verb. So in the at noon he eats in the restaurant. So manger is the verb. Conjugation will be mange. Then we have la soir around the laundry. So in the evening before returning, il uh, fait is the verb they cause. So he does the shopping. So il fait. Uh, sa femme. Dash, aller is the verb, chercher les enfants. So his wife goes to pick up the children. So it will be va. Perfect. Moving to the second part of the first sub part of question number five. Number two, we have nu fini this the verb, no tatavai a this with ar. So we finish our work at six o'clock in the evening or eighteen hours for nu. It's the ayar ending verb, so it is fini song. Ayar and ia also you must watch. Uh, mon mari dash à l'année du the bus. Attendre is the verb, which means to wait. So my husband waits for me at the bus stop. So it would be maton. Then we have nous dash prendre is the verb, le metro pour rentrer. So we take the metro for returning. So it would be pronoun. Fine. Then we have suwa nu choisir is the verb. I E R K E plus rapid. Okay. So often we choose the R E R, which is very fast. So for nu, shuazi, we will conjugate it like shuazi song. Shuazi uh -oh. song. Perfect. Then we have nu dash. At first the verb, she nu don counts minute. So we are at this in our at our place within 15 minutes so at the is the word it will be some perfect now moving to the next question Next question is, uh, question number five only, the second subpart, which is passe composé. Uh, passe composé is again a prerequisite to watch. Fine. Un informaticien de l'âme de la France soit arrivé en France. So, uh, the computer scientist of India uh, calls or, uh, yeah, tells about his arrival in France. So, je dash arrivé à Paris le 15 août 2010. So, I arrived at Paris on 15th August 2010. Je 
स्वीज आदि भी a travail a bordeaux so i got a work at bordeaux i found the work so enfin uh, j to be fine then we have ma femme et mes enfants sont venus en 2012 so my children and my wife came here in 2012. So it would be so when new with an S. Then our dummy comes in 2015. No dash an apartment in maintenant toute la famille dash en France. In 2015 we bought an apartment and now uh, we live uh, we stay in France. So it would be nous avons acheté. Right. And la famille est restée. Okay. Now moving to the second part of this question. A uh, second part of the second sub part of question number five to be exact. Informal letter writing is also a prerequisite for the next question. Number two, we have an artist on a tonsal journey. Okay, now an artist uh, tells about uh, his day. Fine. Yeah, yesterday, je commence the work. Mon travail à neuf heures. Yesterday, I started my work at nine o'clock. A uh, new dash, Paris is the work. We did the, the paintings uh, just till the uh, noon. So just comedy. So nous avons fait. Paris is the work. So nous avons fait. Then, on suite. Then, nous dash déjeuner. We went for having lunch. Déjeuner is uh, all is the work. So nous sommes allés. Fine. Then we have puis nous travailler ce verb. Then we verb nous avons travaillé jusqu'à six heures. So we worked till six hours. Uh, nous avons travaillé. Fine. Et nous avons uh, fermé. Notre atelier à 7 heures. And then we closed our workshop at 7 o'clock. Fermé is the work. So it would be avant fermé. We have completed question number 5. Now moving to question number 6. It's I won't be doing this question because this particular question has been discussed numerous times earlier. And moreover, it's a subjective question. It is a clear letter d'environ 80. Uh, mon à ton ami Louis raconte un voyage que tu as fait pendant les vacances. So, uh, like a letter to your friend in 80 words uh, describing him about the, uh, the trip you had in your vacations, during your vacations time. Moving to page number 10, we have few pictures. Let's quickly discuss them. Faites de la musique, uh, vers et en juin. Then we have Tour de France, the cycle days, then we have Festival d'Avignon, uh, Avignon Festival, must be a festival in France. Then we have Festival de Cannes, the Cannes Festival, the film festival. And then we have Festival International du Film à Goa, Goa International Film Festival, again a film festival. So 
lesson one is over. See you in lesson two, part one, April Abba. So stay tuned for your day. That's all for today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're not And if you have any doubt or suggestion, you may write that in the comment section below. You may also like my Facebook page by the same name, Dr. Jordan Bob. See you in my next video. Um, say to Pushudri, thanks for watching. Au revoir, Nidhya Parker, Lam Fonse, Elamo.